squares, it's up two squares. Shoot! That's what I said. Fastest finger puppet in the world. Shoot! All right, differences of two squares. Objective, to simplify products to factor differences of two squares. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, two squares. Square and a square. And I'm not kidding when I say that, I really am. Now, observations. They were made in the last video, but we can make more now. It's not, we don't have to stop making observations because we're on a new video. We're gonna just keep on observing forever. So let's do something. Let's just do the old school distribution. Oh, I'm gonna do x times x to get my x squared. Um, x times negative y, negative xy. Um, watch it as one positive xy, um, negative y squared. Ooh, what happens to my middle terms? Hmm, they seem to just cancel each other out. I end up with x squared minus y squared. It's a difference, a difference. See, a subtraction of what? That's a square. That's x times x. That's another square. y times y. Oh my god, it's a difference of two squares. That's exactly what we're talking about. Dude, this is what's awesome about the difference of two squares. The middle term cancels out, so you see plus y, then, you know, something plus something, so that same thing minus something. What happens, you know it's going to be just this thing squared minus this thing squared. That thing squared minus that squared. Always. So, you can, like, kind of just do it out, man, just by looking at it. I mean, you can just, if, if this is true, then isn't this simply just 5 squared minus 3 squared? Yeah, 25 minus 9, isn't it just 16? Yeah, double check. 5 plus 3, 8 times 2 is 16. Yeah. Isn't this going to be just this squared minus this squared? Yeah, so I just square this, 36x squared, and I square this difference of minus 4. Is that how it's going to be? Well, let's double check. 36x squared minus 12x plus 12x minus 4. Yes, works. So it can work on crazy, crazy ones. Like this is a crazy, crazy one. But if I make the observation that there's a minus and a plus, these two terms are identical. These are identical, right? The only difference between these two parts of this product is this minus and this plus. It's the only difference. So I know I have I've got a difference of two squares I'm going to end up with. The first guy squared, which is x4, m squared minus the second guy squared, 36, I'm sorry, x squared, m squared. Got a little sloppy there at the bottom, but you know, you gotta believe me. X to the fourth m squared minus 36x squared m squared, dude. There it is, that a little better? I know, my penmanship. <laughs> Look at this one. Happy and sad people. Happy and sad. But knowing my difference of two squares, when I know that something's good, the only difference between these two is that's that 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 plus minus. So I know it's gonna be this guy squared, right, which is smiley face to the fourth minus frowny face, this guy squared, this whole thing squared, this whole thing times itself, frowny face to the fourth. Let's double check. Right? I know that's what it's going to be because I know the difference of two squares, but I'm going to do double distribution. Smiley face squared, smiley face squared is smiley face to the fourth. Smiley face squared times frowny face is negative smiley face squared, frowny face squared. And here I multiply, I do this guy, I get plus smiley face squared, frowny face squared, um, and then this guy minus frowny face to the fourth. Oh, see, it canceled out. Same thing, it even works with crazy symbols that you've never seen or never will again. You have to, you will only see this here. How lucky do you feel? Well, just like we, we, we know that this times this equals this, well, this must equal this times this. We're just kind of reversing it. We know that, you know, you can just square the first term and subtract the second one squared because the middle term cancels out. So I can make some observations, say, oh, then can I factor this? Well, heck, yeah. Check it out, yo. How did I get from here to that xy? Well, you end up taking the square root of the first term. You, you take the square roots of these, and that's what, like the square root of this is x, the square root of that, nice. Yeah, so what's the square root of m squared? It's just m. Square root of p squared is p, so I'm gonna have m plus p, m minus p. So I say, what's the square root of this guy? It's gonna be 4x is the square root of that guy, right? What's the square root of 4y squared? Isn't that 2y? Yeah. So I get 4x minus, two, oh sorry, 
plus 2y times 4x minus 2y. Yeah. All right, here's another one. There's a perfect square. Yeah, m squared. The square root of that is m. The square root of 1 is 1. I get m plus 1 times m minus 1. Now we're having factoring fun. All right, here we go. Now finally, is this these guys squares too? Yeah, this looks like a square. This is 6 times 6. This is x squared times x squared. This is 6x. The square root of this guy is 6x squared. And what's the square root of this? 225. Uh, 15. Square root of y that. Um, what times itself equals y to the 6? y to the 3rd. Okay, so those are my um, squares there. So it's going to be, so I took the square root, square root. So just like here, square root there. I'm going to have 6x squared plus 15y cubed times 6x squared minus 15y cubed. And if you do these out, you end up getting your original thing here. Trust me. Tru tr trust me. So what happens is you're going to get some tricky, tricky, tricky ones. You've got to get crazy and tricky. Are you going to get fooled by this? No, you're not going to get fooled. Fool? Now, one thing you can do here, I mean, you notice this is a perfect square, 4 times 4 a squared. You can do it like that, right? But another thing is you can look and say, hey, man, is there stuff that I can actually factor out of here? Like uh, an 8, maybe? Does there um, an 8 go into both of these? Yeah, yeah. Does a 4 go into both of these? Yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll just do it, you know, let's just um, let's just do this first. Let's see. Um, what's the square root of this guy? This is um, 6a times 6a equals this, yes. And what's this, this guy? 4 times 4 is that, so 4a squared times 4. So I could have written it, if I was feeling dandy, I could have written it the following way. I could have written, I could write it like this, 6a plus 4a squared times 6a minus 4a squared. And if I do it out, I get 36a squared, and I get minus 24a squared plus 24a, oh sorry, minus 24a to the cubed plus 24a to the cubed minus 16a to the fourth. See what I'm saying? All right. So it ends up canceling out. Um, so I could have taken, saying, what can I factor out of this? I could take an a squared out of both sides. I don't want to take an 8 out. Just take an 8 out of here, there'd be 2 left. Um, what if I took a 4 out of there? Hmm. Yeah, I could take a 4 out of this and I put the 9 there. So I could have factored out of here first a 4a squared, and I'd end up with 9 minus... 4a squared, right? And now this is also a difference of two squares, where the square root of that is 3. The square root of this whole thing is 2a. So I could have wrote it as 4a squared, 3 plus 2a, 3 minus 2a. That's wild, man. That's like wild. Wild. All right. So we'll try to do a couple more of these. We're looking for trying to factor out the difference of two squares. Let's see. Is this? Are these both? Squares, let's see. So that's what you do. You say the different two squares, so what you do? Is it a difference? Yes. Is that a perfect square? Is that a perfect square? Then you know it's a difference of perfect two squares. Right now, no. They're not squares. Perfect squares. But I look, I can take a u and a v out of both of these, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a u and a v out, and what do I end up with? Um, u, I get a v squared here minus 16 u squared. Now let's look. Is this a difference of two squares? Yes. The square root of this guy is v. Square root of this guy is 4u. So I end up with uv times v plus 4u. v minus 4u. What a wonderful day it is for you. <laughs> All right. Um, what about this next term? Is this a difference of two squares? Here's the question you're asking. Are they? Is there a difference? Yes. Are they both squares? Yes. It's this squared minus this squared. What's the square root of this guy? That's x plus 4. What's the square root of this guy? It's x. Right. So it's going to be x plus 4 plus x, x plus 4 minus x, okay? So I end up getting what? x plus, let's take 2x plus 4 times x minus x, 4, and I get 8x plus 16. Cool! All right? And you can do the same thing here. Um, gets a little wilder. Things get crazy here. Is this a perfect square? Yeah. This is 3a plus 1. This is the square root of that. The square root of this is 2a minus 1. So it's this plus this times this minus this. Go to the next one. Um, this is just a to the n squared, right? And what's the square root of this? This is b to the n, right? Because if I square that, I get a to the 2n. So I get this minus this, this plus this. 
And the same thing goes for these ones. I got to factor out a five first and I'm ready to go. All right, have a nice day.